Well, here's the problem. I got three bulls out right now. Well, here's the problem. That's the wrong side of the fence. I got three bulls out right now, but I just got the feeder in. A couple of them snuck out. They want to get to that because they know what's in there so i'm gonna sneak out of here open up this gate lumpy you stay in here i already got one on there so we gotta get these guys back in here open this gate just in case they would go in there on their way back we'll see if they'll go in there there we go got them both back in <sighs> all right so i got them in our actually our main corral i caught them right here on the way back to this pen, the gate's over there. See, I had I had Lumpy and another one stay in there and I had one just go through the gate, but these two were wanting to go see Dunbar and whatnot. So I got them in here. Now there's their exit right over here. Huh. Feed works wonders, I'll tell you that. It really does. Well, when they're hungry, Go bully. They're out where they're supposed to be. There you go. All right, guys. It's enough horsing around this morning. Well, I'll tell you what, that was not a, that was not a fun way to start <laughs> the day when you get back from doing that so um yeah it was mainly because of this guy right here that is eleanor's bull in case you guys didn't know he's a lot like her he is very curious very interested in everything well he snuck through the gate and i thought okay well if i just pull that feeder through he'll follow me through and the rest will come through uh him and two others took their opportunity and scattered so they were running around for a little bit but and I'm here by myself, but luckily I was able to uh, get them back in. So uh, thank gosh for that. But yes, you, this guy right here. <sighs> Just character. 
you guys are probably wondering what is that rolled out over here well that is some conveyor belting some rubber conveyor belting and uh marissa and i are gonna thank you are going to soon put this on the inside of our corral we took the netting down that old black fence security netting down and we're gonna put that rubber up it'll be a little bit better for them whenever they are uh if they're bumping off the pins and whatnot because here pretty soon we're going to be working the bison um, in early november so um, we got a lot of work to do around here uh, getting that ready some big things happening let's just say see we're putting out hay because uh man it's been so dry here but golly we finally got some rain guys we finally got it and uh it's awesome to have some rain I'm, I'm not sure exactly how much we got here in this area it's kind of a spread out around this uh, southern region of Oklahoma but I, I want to say maybe an inch to an inch and a half total for a couple of days of rain so and now it's cooled down so fall is here it's beautiful we're gonna go down in the pasture and check the big herd Dunbar man that rooster is getting after it Dunbar and check them and then uh, I'll get back with you guys here in just a little bit let's go this guy making them some noise I know you guys probably miss seeing my bison. I know you do. Uh, it's good to go to those other places. We had a great time in Custer, in South Dakota in general. What a beautiful place. That, uh, that place is different. It's not like Colorado. You know, you've got the pine trees and the Black Hills. It's just a different, unique place. And uh, So we just had a great time. We were super tired and uh, we had a long week, but uh, we got to see a lot of cool things and hang out with some good people. And I, I know Marissa and Brooks and Austin were ready to be home and, and rest. And so what a great time and what a great event. And uh, lucky to go out and see Chad's herd and hang out, you know, kind of behind the scenes of working the bison too at, at the Custer State Park with their show herd. Those guys, by the way, I had a question um, from one of my videos uh, working them. They will work all of those bison and they'll sort them out. They'll get their vaccinations, tags, whatever they need and then those animals i don't know exactly how many but they take i want to say maybe maybe 400 or so animals and they'll put those animals in the cell which is in november and i think that sale is november 6 is when it is anyways uh that's when they'll do that that's why they work them it's part of the population control uh and so they they've got a heck of a management system up there and um, that's a lot of that because of chad kramer he's uh he's got it going on up there but they'll sort them they work them just kind of like what we do here basically a lot of it a lot of the same stuff that they do we do they have some a sweet facility and they had the stands right there where all the people could watch and whatnot so i'll catch you up on some news um here uh later on but um we got some we got some good stuff happening we got a lot of work to do like i said earlier to get everything ready uh, for the working and uh this will be the biggest herd that we've worked here at the cross timbers ranch 27 total um will be worked so that'll be fun that'll be really fun uh anyways i want to show you we stopped at dakota pure bison uh scott osman are some guys that uh i just kind of met through the bison world actually through redmond minerals scott and dakota pure bison is just outside of mission south dakota and it's the rosebud reservation and they've got a lot of bison and i say a lot of bison like 900 plus we went out there and looked around and uh, saw some beautiful animals and those guys are very selective of their breeding stock and breeding bulls and whatnot so it's about two and a half hours southeast of rapid city and so we stopped by there and i want to share kind of a little bit there we were there just for a couple hours hanging out and whatnot but um they've uh they've got it going on up there and they do a great job and raise some really good animals and so uh they've got meat sticks they've got an online meat store going they've got a lot of stuff happening so 
maybe we can do some stuff with those guys in the future It'd be awesome but uh that was bison country for sure it is just beautiful and uh the land is land is way different than it is here but it's definitely bison country anyways i want to show that to you guys Thank you guys for watching and I uh, hope you enjoyed uh, Dakota Pure Bison visit. We'll keep up with those guys more often in the future. Those guys, we stay tight with them. So thank you guys.